Hey folks, Crazy Climb Radio here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called BioAttack, and this was created by Fox Video Games and licensed to Taito in 1983. And this probably saw very little exposure in American arcades. Uh, this is just basically a shoot 'em up, and it's based on uh, the, uh, the movie Fantastic Voyage, in which uh, a ship gets shrunk and is put in a guy's body and its purpose is to save his life and has to go th go through his uh, body and fight off various infections and stuff and in this game you have to get to the eyeball that is your uh, main goal and uh, you have to fight off various infections on the way and they're represented by like Devils shooting you with pitchforks and other weird shit. This is really not a very good game. But yeah, here you want to go slow. If you push up, you will speed up faster. But you want to go slow because those devils are quick. Don't worry about running into the walls. That won't kill you. Uh, in fact, you might have to uh, to avoid uh, those devils. Just keep shooting them. You might be able to pick out their pitchforks in midair. Those, uh, oops, crap. Those little white things, those little white egg things, don't, don't shoot them. Touch them. I shouldn't have uh, shot them. Those will restore your fuel. But just go slow here. Damn it. Uh, there are like five or six stages in this game, and this is just the first one here. You just get far enough and you'll be able to beat the level. And then you'll get points for your fuel remaining. Now here you have to shoot at that red dot going around in the, uh... I guess that's that that's a tumor or something in the liver. Or no, the uh, heart. Because I guess those are ventricles or something. You know what, I really don't know. They're very crude renditions of uh, organs. But yeah, this level is the easiest. You shoot uh, you shoot those little uh, infections a couple times and you'll destroy them. Once, once or twice. And again, don't worry about running into the walls. It won't kill you. But those white things, you want to run them over. They uh, will restore your... Uh, uh, fuel supply a version of this well I think it was actually called Fantastic Voyage was released uh, to the Atari 2600 but this arcade version is really bad this level is the hardest I think here you have to avoid getting hit by these droplets and even if they don't fall straight on you they can still kill you really sucks. Don't touch the walls because you will kind of get stuck and it's hard to hard to get away from them. And those guys just keep coming after you. I I don't care for this game at all. But your goal is to shoot that that big red ball as many times as you can to destroy it. And here's what it looks like when you do destroy it. This level's just the hardest. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, even though even if those droplets look like they're gonna miss you, they often still hit you. It still registers as a hit. And now we have these devil things again. I put on invincibility just so I could beat one uh, run-through of this game. But that uh, repetitive musical score is so annoying. There's a lot of things I really don't like about this game. It just doesn't seem like it was finished. And now we get to the eyeball above. Now here, you have to destroy these little worm things that can get in your way. You can't shoot across the gaps. Uh, across the open spaces to get him. You have to kind of lure him into into your way and shoot him. And you have to look ahead to see what's the clear path to the eyeball. Just take your time here 
wait until the enemy is in is in the way and then shoot him kind of lower him because if you get stuck and you've got an enemy in your way you're screwed you have to go to the left or right of the eyeball and then push up when you've got an open space and I was trying to get through the eyeball and you can't go to either the left or right of it and push up when that thing is done opening and closing Ooh, just about ran out of time and then you start everything all over just a, not a good game at all I had never heard of this in arcades never seen it and it's just not very good that is BioAttack by a Fox Video Games and licensed to Taito in 1983. Well, this is Crazy Clam Radio saying thanks for watching, and I hope you're staying cool in this heat. Have a good one, everybody, and I'll be back to requests with the next video. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.